My family moved to Cape Cod when I was six years old. And the Cape has been, and always will be, home. From an early age, we were taught that with hard work, we could be successful in whatever fields we pursued. As a kid, these are words that I took to heart. That hard work led me to leave Sandwich to attend university in Washington, D.C., where I was fortunate enough to continue my studies and begin an international career. I've been living and working in international settings since graduation, and I've learned a tremendous amount about how the world works. Most importantly, I have become more acutely aware of how lucky I was to grow up here on Cape Cod. That is why I've become so dismayed in recent years to find enormous and growing problems in my hometown. I see an entire region of our Commonwealth, which is wrongly stereotyped as a wealthy vacation destination, when there are working people who are finding it more and more difficult to stay afloat. I see former friends and classmates buried in student debt, unable to afford to live in the only place that they've ever called home. Younger families can't afford to settle here, and life only gets more expensive each year for our seniors who are living on fixed incomes. With rising seas and more frequent storms, no one in government is giving us a vision of what our home looks like 50 to 100 years from now. Despite the political establishment's best efforts, the opioid epidemic continues to ravage our home. Recent attempts to address this issue have missed the mark. Healthcare costs rise and rise, and our small businesses continue to get squeezed by a system rife with waste and inefficiency. Despite living in such a highly taxed area, the state continues to shortchange our schools and deny us our fair share. I am running for office because we have too many challenges impacting the Cape to play politics. To allow this election cycle to election cycle way of thinking to continue. To elect representatives without projecting any sort of vision for the future of our home. And to allow half of our state elected officials to run unopposed. We need new voices, more than ever, to force the political establishment up in Boston into taking the concerns of Cape Codders seriously. With your vote on November 6th, I hope to be one of them.